Hey guys, I'm Ash from Adventure Travel Pro. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna be covering off video two of the microfiber travel towel series. And I'm going to be looking at the top four considerations backpackers must know um, before buying a microfiber travel towel. So let's get straight into it. So before I kick into the contents of this video though, I just wanted to do a really quick recap on what we covered in video one. So we looked at what are travel towels or for that fact microfiber travel towels and we also looked at what are the benefits of these types of towels for backpackers versus your standard bath or shower cotton towel. So if you didn't get a chance to watch that video and would like to, you can actually click the link above and that will take you to watch video one of the series. But before you go ahead and buy your own towel for your trip, there are four key considerations that you guys really wanna know before you make that buying decision. So these four things are your material of the towel, the size of the towel. We're also gonna look at your budget, of course, and then your what the washing requirements. So let's start first looking at material. So what is the best material of travel towels? So based on my own research, I discovered that most of your, your travel towels are made up of combination of synthetic materials, including polyester, polyamide, I don't know how really to say that one, which is kind of like a nylon material, um, and also your polygene material. So polyester helps to give the towel some structure, whereas polyamide helps in terms of the density and the absorption of the towel. So yeah, as a general rule of farm, you know, stick to that 80, 20, 70, 30 rule. Um, but the reality is that sometimes this can be actually really hard to stick to because what I did notice throughout my review was that a lot of suppliers actually don't break down what exact materials the towels are made of. A lot of them just say, oh, it's a microfiber towel made of microfiber, but that's not really helpful for us in this context, but it's just something that if you do see it um, as you're looking at towels, it's just something to keep in mind. So alongside the material makeup of your towel, the second thing that you really wanna look into is the size of the towel. So like standard towels, your microfiber travel towels come in a whole range of shapes and sizes. Um, so you really wanna make sure that you're buying a towel that actually suits your height, um, but also just your general needs. For example, as a female, you know, you want to make sure that you find a towel that actually covers you from just beneath your shoulders, you know, to maybe just above your knees. For a guy, you probably actually have a lot more flexibility if you're only covering up that bottom, bottom section. So yeah, it's just one of those things to keep in mind when you're looking at towels that when you start seeing them small, medium, large, extra large, do you actually check the measurements are going to be right for your body because all of us are very individual and quite different when it comes to size. Additionally, with that, there's also a trade-off because the larger you go in your towel size, the larger or the more space it's going to take up in your backpack as well. So you kind of want to find that healthy middle, middle point where all your important bits are covered, but you're also going to save as much space as possible in your backpack so that you can also fill it with all your other important travel gear and clothes as well. So based on the towels that I've bought in the past, um, the standard dimensions ranges that I typically recommend is a width of 24 to 30 inches, which equates to about 60 to 76 centimeters. Um, and with length, you wanna look for something that's about 50 to 60 inches long, or if you're looking in centimeters, around about that 127 to 150 centimeters long. I find within this range, that's quite good for me, if not just that little bit bigger, um, to give me a bit more flex in how I use the towel. So personally, my microfiber travel towels have had the following dimensions. So my escape travel towel is a large and it's 27 inches width by 52 inches length. Then my Euphoria travel towel, which I have currently, and it's my most recent one that I, I take with me when traveling, um, that size was advertised as a medium but it's 28 inches by 56 inches. So it's actually bigger than the Escape towel, which was advertised as a large, versus the Euphoria towel being advertised as a medium. And that's why it's so important not just to take, you know, small, medium, large at face value, actually check the dimensions specifically and make sure that it's gonna fit your needs. So the third consideration is your budget. So a great thing about microfiber travel towels is that 
there's such a wide and vast range of options. And this is whether you're buying in store or buying online, probably buying online, you have a lot more diversity and choice. Um, but either way, you know, there's just such a wide selection of options to suit all kinds of budgets and, pri and price tags. So in general, the price range for most microfiber towels is around that sort of 20 to 80 Australian dollar mark. Um, I think if you can find anything within that lower to mid range, you know, around that sort of $40, just under $50, maybe $60 is pretty good. Um, but yeah, anything over that $80 Aussie mark, I'm just, I, I wouldn't really spend that much. And even if it's the most amazing microfiber travel towel, from my, I guess my opinion is it's still a towel. So do I want to spend $80 on a towel or would I rather spend, you know, $40 on a towel and then $40 on some other form of travel gear um, that's going to help me on my trip? The fourth requirement is, or the fourth consideration is washing requirements. The great thing about microfiber travel towels is that um, they don't have to be washed as frequently as your standard towels back home um, because they, they do have those antibacterial properties. Um, but also as well, one good tip to do before you travel is to make sure um, you do just pop it through the wash maybe once or two times before your trip. Um, I think generally they say to put it on a gentle, cool washing cycle and to not tumble dry the towels. Um, I must say I've been a bit naughty in the past and I have done this and my towels have been okay. But based on their recommendation, I would suggest, yeah, use a gentle, cool wash and yeah, maybe just let it air dry rather than putting it in the dryer. It could be another reason because some of the um, materials are synthetic. Maybe the reason for not putting them in the dryer is that it causes the towel to shrink. So keep that in mind and maybe try to be better than what I have been. But I'm better now. I'm being a good girl. I'm trying to um, follow the instructions. So yes. Another thing as well when it comes to washing your towel is um, they do recommend to actually wash it on its own first. And the reason being that I have seen some comments in the reviews of travel towels that have bled color. So the last thing that you wanna do is if you wash your towel with all your travel clothes in one load, and then it recolors your clothes, and then that's all you have with you. And you either have to wear all your clothes like a blue, or you have to you know, go and buy a whole new set of clothes for your trip. So there you have it, the top four considerations to know before buying your own microfiber towel for travel. If you're considering buying your own towel, I've actually included in the description below some links to my favorites and the top brands that I recommend. Um, and also in the following video, I'll go through in a lot more detail each of these different products and brands so that you can then decide which one of these is gonna be best and most suitable for your needs and for your next backpacking trip. And don't forget to click the like button or the subscribe button of our humble channel so that you stay up to date with our next videos and our latest tips and tricks regarding to travel. That's it for today. I look so forward to seeing you in the next video. And as always, see you then. Bye.